Okay, next series now, we're in class 49. New month, new drills. Probably one of the most important classes because we're going to introduce true progressions. True progressions. Progressions mean it's something that's built upon something that comes before. So basically, it's the idea that we're taking something, we're laying a foundation, and then we're building on that to create additional opportunities by which you can score points. So we're creating a system of progressions and changing variables in them to create additional opportunities. In teaching this, the way I start is I start with a step pattern because a step pattern can be replaced by kicks. So the easiest way to teach progressions is by using a step pattern. So we're going to start with step in, step out, skip in, step in. And let's bring it back to the original position. So that's the pattern. We're going to repeat this pattern and we're going to change things about it and that's where the progression lies. So in the beginning of the class, after the warm up and all the drills, you're going to go to this level where you just teach them this pattern. So you have them step in, step out, ha! skip in, step in. Ha! Ha! That's all it is. Now once they get smooth with it, we let them do it in one count. So step in, step out, ha! skip in, go in. Ha! Ha! Very nice. Here we go. Ready? We're going with one count. Ready. Hey! Ha! 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 Okay? The other way to do it is right from there, we would let them go again on the other side. So, for example, hey! Ha! 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 Ho! Now we've built the foundation by which we're going to start to introduce the kicks. This will bring us to the combination kicking in the air. Time to introduce the progressive combination series. We're going to start with the foundation. The idea is that something doesn't change. What doesn't change is the way the body is moving. So remember the first series of steps. It was step in, step out, ho. skip in, step in. Ho, ho. Now remember what I said earlier. Anything can be changed. It can change a step to a kick. Let's go back. So I'm going to change the first step to a round kick. Ha. Step out, fast kick, round kick. Ha. Whoa. So all I did was change some of the steps to round kicks and fast kick. So the original pattern again was step in, step out, ha. skip in, step in. Ha. Ha. Second pattern is round kick, step back, fast kick into round kick. Hey! Ha. 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 And bring it back. Okay, so now they have the basic idea and I let them do these two over and over. Then I'd introduce the first idea of a progression, changing another variable. So first we change the kicks to steps. Now we're going to change the timing because that's another thing you can change in a progression. You can change the timing between the techniques. So again, we're going to start the same because we want to create a belief in our opponent. He knows what's coming. So we go round kick, ha! step back. Ho! Now we change that second technique from fast kick into changing the timing to go fast kick right into a double. So it's up ball double. Hey! Ah! Very nice, okay? So we've changed the timing on the kick. So this is the up ball double kick. So again, it's going to be round kick, step down, step back, into fast double. Hey! Ah! Oh! Very nice, bring it back. Okay, so let's review where we are in the process. Right now, we have step in, step out, skip in, step in. Hey! Ah! 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 And back. Now we change that round kick, step down, step back, into fast kick, into round kick. Hey! Ah! Again, bring it back. Now we go to the third level, which is round kick, step down, step back, fast double. Hey! Very nice. That's going to bring us to start introducing our next technique. Okay, we're ready for our next series now. Again, here we go. It's going to be round kick, step down, step back, because we're not changing that. Hey! But now we're going to introduce a change in height. Next technique is skip axe kick. Oh! Followed by double kick. Ah! Excellent combination. Bring it back. Okay, so let's review. We're going to go slow. Round kick, step down, step back. Ah! Skip axe kick. Ah! Double kick. Ah! That mimics what we were doing before. Let's bring it back. Time to change another variable. We've changed the height. We've changed the timing. Now I want to change the direction of the kick. Round kick, step down, step back. Ah! Cut kick. Ha! Side kick, back kick. Oh! Very nice. Bring it back. Okay. Excellent series of techniques. We've changed now the direction. Now we've changed three variables. Timing in one, speed, right? Direction and height. Okay? Now let's move on to the final one, step round kick. Hey! Oh! 
There comes a point in time in progressions where all you have to do is change the whole thing. So in this one, we've changed the whole thing. Step, round kick. Final progression is step, round kick. Let's bring it back in review. And this is how you would demonstrate it. Take a little bit of time in this class. So we have step in, step out. Ho. Skip in, step in. Ha, ho. That's combination number one. Number two is gonna be round kick, step down, step back, fast kick, round kick. Hey! Ha. Ha. Ho. Very nice, bring it back. Number three is gonna be round kick, step down, step back, fast, double. Hey! Ha. Ha. Very nice, bring it back. Next, round kick, step down, step back, skip back, kick into double. Hey! Ha. 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 Bring it back, here we go. Next is gonna be round kick, step down, step back, cut kick into side kick, back kick. Hey! Ha. 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 Very nice, bring it back. And remember, the most and my favorite, step round kick. Hey! Because oh. that's all you got to do. You build the progression and finally you take advantage of the fact that he's just getting out of the way because he doesn't want to get hit. Here's the way you teach the partner drills for this because it's not an easy class again. That beginning part of that class is going to take some time to teach. All the stepping and then all the air kicking is going to take some time. Now we just want to get them on the targets, right? So the way you could do it is you have him first move without kicking. So he's going to do the steps, no kicking. I just want him to get used to moving. So he's going to step in, step out. Ha! He's going to skip in, step in. So he backs oh. up, backs up. Oh. Good, that's one. Now when I say two, he's going to do round kick, step down, step back, fast kick into round kick on the targets. Two! Ha! Ha! Oh. Very nice, bring it back. Now when I say three, he's going to do round kick, step down, step back, into fast double. Three! Ha! Go! Very nice. Excellent techniques. Finally, when I say four, he's going to do round kick, step down, step back, skip axe kick into double kick. Hey! Ha! Ha! Go! Very nice. Bring it back. Here we go with the final one. He's going to now do round kick into step down, step back, cut kick into side kick, back kick. Hey! Ha! 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 Good. Bring it back. And then finally, the one, the most basic one, big point getter, step round kick. Hey! Go! Very nice. Good. Now, I would practice it just like that on the targets. One, two, three, four, five, and six on both sides. Switch sides, and that's your drill. Now comes the variable drill. These guys by now should be ready to be able to respond to your command. So you're going to give them in varying order the combinations. So review the combinations. We have steps, that's number one. Two, that's all round kicks and fast kick. Three, that is round kick into the fast double. Four, that is round kick, step back, skip axe kick, double. Five, that is round kick, step back, cut kick into side kick, back kick. And then finally, six is going to be step, round kick. So now both people have to be adept at listening and participating. The other option on this is rather than me calling it, you have him call it. So he calls all six. But for now, I'm gonna call it. Get ready. One. Ha, 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 ho. Back it up. Here we go. Ready. Three. Ha, ha, ho. Very nice. Here we go. Ready. Two. Ha, 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 ho. And finally, ready. Here we go. Last one. Get ready. Get ready. Six. Oh. That's it. Now, the energy, that's excellent. That's what we want. Want him thinking, responding. As soon as I go, he's got to go. The good news is he knows all he's got to do is round kick first, usually. So most times, he starts with a round kick. He can catch up in his mind where he wants to go. Building the reaction in him, building the reaction in him. Now we're ready to go to our next drill. Okay, now it's a matching drill. Let's walk it slow. I want to do a matching drill so that he can get used to what's happening, plus he can practice his technique. So when he steps in, he's going to step back. When he steps back, he's going to step in. So let's go slow. Step in, step back. He's going to skip back, skip in, skip in, step in. Very nice. Here we go again. One more time. Let them go at their own pace. I'm going to call it, though, one. Bring it back. You can imagine what's going to happen next now. He does the same sort of thing with his stepping motion. He's going to do two. Go! Ha! 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 
Ah! Very nice. Now, I'm not as concerned what motions he makes back, but he should be trying to give him some opportunity for kicking. But if he can match exactly, it's nice, right? Here we go with three. Three! Ha! 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 Very nice. You can see how this will be effective now in sparring, plus he can see how it's going to be effective. He's creating the belief, which will translate into confidence, which will end up in scoring points. Now we have four. Four is that round kick, step down, step back, skip back, kick into double kick. Four! Ha! 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 Very nice. Let's bring it back, bring it back. Next one's a long distance technique, right? So here we go. We're going to five, which is round kick, step down, step back, cut kick into side kick, back kick. Hey! Good, bring it all the way back. See how much distance that covers. Excellent attacking technique. Finally, here comes the speed change. Six! You can see how that would be effective. Let's bring it back. Now, as I'm teaching this class, I'm teaching it just like that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. But that's gonna bring me to the next one. Now I'm gonna go to the part where I can be variable. So I'm not gonna tell him what's coming. He's gonna have to react. Ready? Three! Very nice. And of course, I could call out any number I want. This is going to bring us to our next level of drills. Okay, here comes our freedom drill. Freedom to attack, freedom to respond. So now I want each athlete, right, responding. So what's going to happen is he's just going to pick whatever attack series he wants. He gets three in a row, then he switches, and he gets three in a row. Now, they do it as if they're fighting. So they move around the room. They're bouncing. He takes three opportunities at the six different progressions. Here we go. Hey! Very nice. Okay, so you can see how this works. Again, he's practicing his progressions, trying to take advantage of his opponent. He's showing his opponent a different look, and then he's reacting. This is the key to progressions. Progressions work because your opponent believes that they know what you're going to do next. And how do they know that? Because you do that. You started out looking the same way, so they anticipate the same thing happening. Then you change something. You change the height. You change the distance, you change the direction, or you change the speed. Welcome to class 50. Gonna take it back a notch. Last class was progressions, but very complex. You can review them during the step portion in the warm-up. Step in, step out, skip in, step in, and maybe even the kicking series because their heads will still be reeling. Now I want to take it back to teaching the most basic, fundamental concept of progressions, which is single technique. So it looks like this. One is step in. One. And back. Anything can be replaced, so we're going to replace it with a kick. Two. And the progression is going to be step, round, kick, three. Hey! We've changed the distance and the timing. So first we did a round kick, then we did a step round kick. The step itself set all that up. So we said step, round kick. When they move out of the way because they know they're going to get hit, we go step round kick. Chasing them with the distance. So let's review again. We're going to do step, round kick, step round kick. So one, and back, two, and three. Very nice. That's step drill number one. Here comes drill number two. We got the step in. One. And back. Round kick, round kick on the floor. Two. Bring it back. Now we have double kick. Three. Now we change the timing. We had step, two round kicks, changing the timing, double kick. I'm gonna call it out one by one. The first one's gonna be step is one. Here we go with round kick, round kick, two. And we follow that with the change in time is three, double kick. Very nice. Now we're ready to move on to our next drill. Okay, here comes the next series. He's going to step in. One. Now he's going to step in and fast kick. Two. Finally, he's going to step in and fast double. Three. That's the third series. Now we've changed it again just slightly. So we use the step to lead into the fast kick. Then we use that step fast kick to lead into step fast double. 
Okay, final and fourth, we want to teach them one last idea, right? So progressions have a lot of different flavors, can change different things about the kick. So again, we have him step in one. He goes back. Remember, it can be followed by round kick two. Now we're going to change the height and the direction, axe kick three. Very nice. Followed by a change in direction again with a push kick. Four. Very nice. And then finally, once they're running away, step round kick. Five. Okay, five step progression, single technique. So now I can call them each out. He'd have a step, a round kick, an axe kick, a push kick, followed by step, round kick. So I'm going to call them out for him. One, first step. Now we have two is going to be the round kick. Two. Followed by three, which is going to be the axe kick. Three. Followed by four, which is going to be the push kick. Four. Followed by step round kick. Five. Very nice. Now we're ready to move on to the target drills. Okay, time for it on the targets. Now we want to build the skills again. Targets help build the belief that the technique will work. Turns into confidence, turns into points. Belief, confidence, point. Belief, confidence, points. First, we're going to do the first drill again. It's going to be the step, second, round kick. Third, step, round kick. First progression for single technique. So it's one, two, three. And that's exactly the way to practice it. Just like this in a line with your students. This way they can focus on the difference in timing, difference in distance. This is going to bring us to our next one. Number two, it's going to be step, round kick, round kick, double kick. So when I say one, he does step. One. When I say two, he's going to do round kick, round kick. Two. Now we change the timing. When I say three, he does the double kick. Three. Very nice. Here we go. Next drill is going to be number three. He does step again. Step. Now it's step into fast kick. Step, fast kick. Followed by the change. Step, fast, double. Step. Very nice. Now we move on to the final progression. He's going to step in one and back. Step in and fast kick two. Now we have step in and fast double three. Very nice. Good. Now we move on to the fourth drill. Single progression changing another aspect. We have step is one. Round kick two. Axe kick three. Push kick four. And then step round kick five. Very nice. Okay. So again, that's the way to teach these drills. One at a time, four different sets. They can do them in one line or they can do them in motion or they can do them up and down the floor. But I would teach them independently. I wouldn't put these all together. Set is one, set is two, set is three, set as four. Okay, we're going to throw them a little bit of a curveball now. We're going back to our other class. I want to review those progressions from the other class. I introduced this concept now so they understand what we're changing, but now we're going to go review. So we're just going to do the steps again. Remember, it was step in, step out. Chop. Skip in, step in. Chop. Oh. Good. Here we go with two. We're going to go round kick, step down, step back. Fast kick into round kick is two. Ah. Ah. Oh. Very nice. Now three changes the timing. It's round kick. Step down, step back. Fast Double. Three. Ah. Oh. Very nice. Now we change it again. Round kick, step down, step back. Skip axe kick, double kick. Hey. Ah. Ha. Ha. Ah. Very nice. Now we have round kick, step down, step back, into skip axe kick, into double kick. Hey. Ah. Ha. Ah. Oh. Very nice. Good. Followed by round kick, step down, step back, cut kick, into side kick, back kick. Hey. Ha! Ha! Oh. And you know what happens next. It's the easy but effective and fast one step round kick. Hey! Oh. Again, this is the review portion on the targets. They drop the targets. I would have them do it as partners again and then finish with random during the class for them to do by themselves back and forth. Matching steps, matching targets. This is that portion that we're going to reinsert because this is an important part of the class. We've learned single progressions, changing height, distance, speed, and timing. Then we are now learning single and to multiple progressions so we review from the other class.
Okay, welcome to class 51, back to harder progressions. So we're gonna add a couple of different steps, a couple of different techniques. Keep it simple though, same warm up, warm them up with the steps, warm up with the basic kicks, then we move on to the step in progressions. So this is about 10, 15 minutes into the class. We're gonna have a skip in, skip out, step in, step in. So that's the setup, okay? This is the setup. So skip in, skip out, step in, step in. Hey! Good, bring it back. This is gonna be followed by changing it to kicks now. So we have fast kick, skip out. Ha, ho. Round kick, round kick. Ha, ha. Very nice, bring it back. That is combination number two for this progression. Combination number three starts the same way. Fast kick, skip out. Ha, ho. You know what comes next, it's double kick. Ha. Changing the timing of the combination. This is gonna be followed by number four. Fast kick, skip out. Ha, ho. Rear leg push kick. Ha. Double kick. Ha. Very nice, changing the direction and the distance a little bit. Awesome. Now, next combination, fast kick, skip out. Ha, ho. Up ball. Ha. Side kick, back kick. Ho. Very nice, bring it back. And then finally, the final one is skip in, round kick. Just like the last one, that's how we did it. So that's skip in, round kick. So let's review again. We have skip in, skip out, step in, step in. Hey! Ha, 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 ha! And back. Replacing it with kicks now, so it's gonna be fast kick, skip out, round kick, round kick. Two! Ha, 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 ha! Bringing it back. You know number three is gonna change it to a double kick. Three! Ha, ha! Very nice, bring it back. Number four is gonna change it to a push kick into a double kick, changing the distance. Go! Bring it back. Now, we're gonna change it, goes fast kick, skip out, up ball, side kick, back kick. Hey! Very nice, and then finally, skip in, round kick. Hey! Now for purposes of demonstration, we did it pretty quickly. Now remember, take your time with your class. Call out the one, do the one over and over again, just the steps. Call out the two, do the two over and over again. Get them to a place where they're comfortable with the technique and then you can move into bringing it up quicker and doing them in a row. Now we're ready to move on to the next drill. Okay. Now it's time to go on to the targets. Same skills, but on the targets, and we're gonna let them practice them over and over again. So again, one was just a step. So one is skip in, skip out, step in, step in. One! Ha, 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 ha. Bring it back. Now number two, he's actually gonna hit with the kicks. So the first kick is gonna be fast kick, followed by round kick, round kick. So he's gonna hold for fast kick, and then he's gonna do round kick, round kick. So we got fast kick, skip back, round kick, round kick. Two! Ha, ho. Very nice, changing it to three, which is gonna be the double kick change for the progression. Three. Very nice, changing to four. So now we're gonna follow, gonna go fast kick, skip back, push into double kick. Four. Very nice distance, very nice distance, okay? Now we're taking it to five. So five is the fast kick start, up ball into side kick, back kick. Hey. Very nice. Finally, skip in roundhouse kick to seal the deal. Hey! Ha, ha. That's the way this portion of the class goes now, okay? So slow, slow, slow. Let them do the step, then call out each progression in order, in order. Reminding them of the progression as you're going, watching their stepping, make sure they're doing the right techniques, but he's also matching. Next level of drills for the next section of the class goes like this. I call out the number, he's gotta remember the number, he's gotta remember the holding. Okay, here we go. Ready, one. Very nice. Ready, three. Very nice. Ready, six. Very nice, good. Again, that's the last level of this drill. Now we're ready to move on to the partner drill.
part in the drill time, just like the other part of the class. Going to do matching steps first. Here we go with the matching steps for one. Skip in, skip out. Hey! Ha, ha. Step in, step in. Ha, ha. Very nice. Change it. Here we go. He's matching the steps, moving backwards. He's doing number two. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Very nice. Matching steps for number three. We're going to back him up, need a little more distance. Here we go with number three. Ready? Three! Ha, ha. Very nice. Have him back up, back up. Here we go with four, which is going to be that fast kick, skip down, skip back, push kick into double kick. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Very nice. Bring it back. Now we know five. He's got the fast kick, skip back, got the up ball into side kick, back kick. Hey! Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Finally, followed by the skip in round kick to take advantage of the opportunity. Hey! That's all you need. Good. Now remember, this is the way to pre-do it. Tell him, count it for him, talk to him about it. Once you feel comfortable, then I let him do it randomly. So they're fighting now, fighting, bouncing. Oh. Good. Now he's going to do any random technique. He's doing it three or four times, doing the combinations, but only those combinations. He's matching the motion and getting out of the way. Ha, 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 oh. ha, 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 oh. Very nice, okay? So again, many different ways to do the techniques, very many different ways to do the combinations. But remember, we're building progressions. In his mind, he should be watching his opponent's motion, picking the best progression that will work at that particular point in time. Class number 52, class number 52. Okay, we're continuing in our progressions. We're gonna integrate steps, integrate steps. So we've done the warm up. You should be doing your regular stepping drills, always in the beginning of the class now. Series of basic steps and skips in and out. Basic kicking, round kick, fast kick, back kick, back whip kick, maybe skip axe kick, side kick, back kick, into maybe push kick, side kick, back kick. After that, we're warmed up, we're ready for this portion of the class now, which is where the instruction comes from. So we're gonna have a check, ha, ho. skip out, ha, ho. step in, step in, hey! Ha, ha. That's the first series, here we go again. So it's check, skip out, step in, step in, look like this, hey! Ha, ho, 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 ho. Very nice, bring it back. Here we go for the second stepping drill. It's gonna be check, skip back, step in, spin in. Ready, hey! Ha, ha. That's all it is. Bring it back. So again, we're going to have him practice the same motion over and over in the air. Break it down, step at a time, then break it down to two. So you have one, which is check, skip back, step in, step in. Two, check, skip back, step in, spin in. Look like this. One. Very nice. Here we go for two. Two. Okay, so do this till they're comfortable with it, because now we're going to bring it to the drill part of the class. Here we go with the air portion for the actual techniques that we're going to practice in the class. So we practice the steps, we've demonstrated it, now it's time to practice it one last time before we move to technique. So we had check, skip out, step in, step in, ha, 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 ha. followed by check, skip out, step in, spin in. Hey. Good. Now let's take it and put technique to it. So we're going to have a check, up ball, round kick, round kick. Very nice. That's the first one. So it's check, up ball, round kick, round kick. Hey! Very nice. Bring it back. That's going to be followed by check, up ball, double kick. Hey! Very nice. So the second technique now, after we've done our check, up ball, round kick, round kick, is gonna be changing the second technique to pada chuggy. So we go check, ha. up ball, ha. pada chuggy, ha. round kick. Ha. So all you're doing is changing the direction slightly, okay? It's changing the direction slightly, moving backwards as opposed to two attacking round kicks. So we have steps, then we have check, up ball, round kick, round kick, then we have check, up ball, pada chuggy, round kick. This is gonna be followed by Check, up ball, ha. right? This leads us into our next drill now. Check, up ball, ha. Ha. 
Round kick, back kick. Ha! Oh! Now we're finally using that spin that we had. Remember we had to step in the spin in? This is now gonna be followed by, we back it up, check, up ball. Ha! Ha! Round kick into Nadabon. Ha! Ha! Oh! Nice progression, nice progression. They're learning now that back kick sets up a Nadabon because that's what happens in sparring. They think you're gonna back kick, so they get out of the way to counter, and then you do the Nadabon, which takes extra distance, also a little bit extra time, you can reach them with the kick. Let's review from the beginning now. So first, we have the steps. We know what they are. That's check in, check out, step in, step in, check in, check out, spin in at the final point. This one now is gonna be check, ha, up ball, ha, round kick, round kick. Ha, ha. Okay, again now for number two. Check, ha, up ball, ha, potachuggy round kick. Ha, ha. Changing the distance level. Now, three is gonna be check, up ball, round kick into back kick. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Followed by four. Check. Up ball, round kick into Nadabon. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Now we're ready to do them on the targets. Okay, now it's time for the target drills. Again, a lot of preparation in the beginning, get them to understand the progression, let them understand the steps. Now we're time to ready to do them on the target. It's gonna be time to do them on the targets. So we're not gonna do the steps, but if you want to, you can walk through the steps. You go check in, check out, step in, step in, in, out, step in, spin in. That sets up the drill. So it's in, out, up, ball, round kick, round kick. Hey! Ha! 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 Very nice. Now it's check, up, ball, Pot a chuggy round kick. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Just changing the distance on where the attacking round kick is coming. Now it's becoming a defending round kick before the second. Okay, here we go with number three. Now we're gonna go with check up ball round kick into back kick. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Very nice. Finally followed with check up ball round kick into Nadabon. Hey! Ha, ha, ha. Oh. Very nice. Okay, so again, a lot of different ways to do this. If I'm the target holder, I can give him a variant target. But because of the level of technique, I still like to instruct it the way we're teaching it. Start with the steps. Start with one, two, three, and four. We need to help them understand the combination, doing it just in this basic form. Then we can take it to our next drill. Okay, now the partner drill, matching steps. You know this one. What's gonna happen on this? First we start with the steps. He, so he goes check, skip out. Ha, ha. Step in, step in. Ha, ha. Okay, now go back. He's gonna check, skip out, step in, spin in. Hey! Ha, 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 ha. Very nice, good. Setting up his motion for the kicks that he wants to practice. Now we're gonna let him do all the four combinations. So let's review. We have Check, skip out, that's with the up ball into round kick, round kick. That's one. Two, check, skip out, up ball, pot a chuggy round kick. Three, check, up ball with the skip out, right, round kick into back kick, followed by check, up ball, round kick into not a bond. Here we go, counting the four combinations for him. Number one, get ready, go! Ha, ho, ha, ha, ha! Good, very nice. Now in two, he doesn't move back so far, so he can do pot a chuggy. Here we go. Two. Ha, 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 ha. Good. Very nice. Number three. This is where he adds the back kick. Hey. Ha, 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 ha. Very nice. This is followed by the long distance with the nada bond. Four. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. So as you can imagine, these are not easy techniques. So again, they go back and forth. Maybe he does his four, then he does his four. He does his four, he does his four. This can then be followed by the random one if the level is high enough for the athletes. And then finally, prearranged in a sparring formation. Welcome to class 53. I want to introduce my basic defensive concept of posture. 
And what I mean by that is this is the posture that you can teach your athletes so they feel safe no matter where they are. Once an athlete feels safe, that they can either move or avoid a technique, this is followed by the idea that they can then counter whatever possibility comes at them. It's really kind of a simple concept, and they use it in a lot of different martial arts. But I've refined my version for the torch program so you can teach it even to your most basic athletes. Now again, this could be taught to fundamentally your basic athletes, but at this point I'm introducing it later in the program because it's about the right time for it in the Torch Club series. We're going to work first on the steps as we always do, and then we'll go to the actual techniques. First, we're going to lift our front leg, one. Ha! This is going to be followed by round kick check, two. Ha! Followed by back kick check, three. Ha! Finally, cover punch, four. Ha! Followed by push back, five. Ha! Okay, five different positions with five different answers, but they cover virtually everything that can happen when somebody's going to attack you. So again, front leg lifts up, that's one. Rear leg round kick check, two. Ha! Followed by back kick check, three. Ha! Cover punch check, four. Ha! And push back, five. Ha! If your athletes can do these five things, they have an answer for virtually any technique that comes. Now we're going to move it to the part where we start to teach them the concept. This is basically a five-point defense. So you can lift your front leg up, counter with up bow. One. Oh. Round kick. Two. Ah. Back kick. Three. Ah. Very nice. Cover punch. Four. Ah. And push back. Five. Oh. If they can do these five things, they have a potential counter for any technique that comes. So something that comes to the front side, they lift their front leg up, up bow, one. Ha! And again, that could change height-wise. They also, something that comes to the kidney side, they have round kick, two. Ha! Very nice. Something that comes to the stomach, they can respond with back kick, three. Ha! Very nice. Now they also have the possibility of closing the distance, but I don't like to just close the distance, I like to add a punch. So we're gonna close the distance and punch. Hey! Ha! Finally, they always have the option just to escape. Hey! Ha! Five point defense, we do it in the air, you describe it like this. Tell them they're gonna learn a five point defense. Explain to them that we can change the distance, change the technique we counter with, and we only have to make two choices. Is it coming to the kidney side or is it coming to the stomach side? Now it's time to do them in combination. Second level of the drill, now the instructor's gonna call it, they're gonna do it. Instructor calls it, they do it. So. We're gonna have up ball, it's gonna be technique number one. Round kick, technique number two. We're gonna add one thing. Back kick, technique number three. Back whip kick, technique number four. Cover punch is five, escape is number six. So we're gonna review, we'll go slow first. First we have up ball, one. Hey! Number two is round kick, two. Wah! They go back to position, number three is back kick, three. Wah! Followed by back whip kick, four. Wah! Cover punch is five. Wah! Escape, six. Ha, ha. Motion. Same drill now, we get them moving, calling, here we go. One. Ha. One. Ha. One. Ha. Two. Ha. Three. Ha. Four. Ha. Five. Ha. Six. Ha. Very nice. Now, in the beginning, just like I did, same one over and over again, then you can change it. Then you can change what numbers you call. But in the beginning, let's keep it simple. They're having a hard enough time just thinking about what you're teaching them, so be very direct. Let them work on one thing, move to the next thing, add motion, but that would cover the air kicking portion of today's class. Here we go. This is the target portion of the drills. Again, we're gonna go slow because I wanna walk the student through it. Once we walk it through it, let's go. We're going right to the drill. Let's walk him. First we have up ball, so I say one. Ha. Very nice, he's giving him a nice reaction. He goes forward, he responds with one. One. Ha. This is followed by attacking round kick two. Ha. Of course, this could be pot chug, but for now we're just gonna do an attacking round kick. The opportunity presents itself, the round kick goes. Two. Ha. Very nice. We change this now, three is back kick. Three. Ha. Very nice for the back kick. Or four is gonna be back whip kick. Four! Ha. Very nice. Finally, we go in for cover punch. Five! Ha. And then he advances forward, escapes. Six! Ha. That's all he needs to know. 
That's all he needs to know. Now, when we're drilling this, we do it just like this. Nice and slow, walk them through it, make sure you give yourself enough room so nobody gets hit with that back whip kick. And then we add this level of the drill, motion. I'm still calling. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, retreat. Very nice, bring it back. Okay, so this level of class structured by me. This level of class is structured by me. I'm calling. If I wanted to, I could get random in the call. I could either call the technique out or call the number. It depends what skill you're trying to build. But we want the students actively involved, both him and him. I want him thinking when I call what he's got to do. I want him thinking when I call what he's got to do. This is going to lead us into the next one, which is an option drill. I could call a different option. But rather than that, we're going to move on to the next series of drills. Okay, let's add the option drill now. It's time to add the option drill. So again, I'm gonna call out the option. He's got an option of one, two, three, four, or five. He's gotta remember what they are. Let's review. Number one is up bow, one. Two is round kick, two. Three is back kick, three. Back whip kick, four. Cover punch is five. Followed by just pure escape, six. Very nice. Here we go, motion. One. Three, four, five, two. Very nice. You can see how it gets a little bit tricky, but then again, we got him thinking. He's like, what's next, what's next? He's gotta think, he's gotta think. Be careful with the back hook kick. Be careful with the back kick. Call the wrong kick and somebody gets hit. So be careful when you're teaching this to your beginners. Right, but this is the option drill. Now this one can be at the end of the last series of drills we do. This is where we go before we go to partner drills. Ready for the partner drills with reaction. Matching steps. He's matching, he's kicking. He's matching, he's kicking. Giving opportunity, he's practicing the technique. One is up ball, so he's gonna skip in. One! Very nice, reacting very well. Now second one he's gonna step in. Two! Round kick is two, that's a possibility when you're fighting, right? Here we go with three! Back kick is always a possibility against an opponent that's moving forward in this position, right? We hit his stomach with it, whether he's skipping or stepping. Here goes to check for safety, check back kick kick. Four! Right, because we don't want anybody to get hit. Now, cover punch is five. Hey! Because he's moving in, we're gonna close the distance. We're closing the distance, followed by escape six. Very nice, back it up. Okay, so again, the way I practice this is just like this. I'm reinforcing in my student the idea, the belief, I have a possibility to counter or move that will prevent me from being hit no matter what he does. And think about what we've taught them. He kicks off the front leg, we have an answer. He kicks off the rear leg, he has an answer. He moves in, we have an answer. He moves back, we have an answer. We have an answer for virtually anything he does. There is nothing that he can do that I do not have an answer for. The only thing that stands between me and success is timing. So now that I understand it, to practice it and execute it. Now that I understand it, I have the belief, I practice it, builds the confidence, which then builds the ability to score a point. Belief, confidence, point. That's the transition we're trying to make. So here we go again. I'm going to show the drill one more time. Ready. He's moving. He's responding. One. Very nice. Two. Very nice. Three. Four. Five. And six. Very nice. Last drill for this class. Last drill. This is the variable. This is where we do the initial technique, but it's followed by a second technique. Initial technique is predetermined. Second technique is variable. I'm gonna give an example of it. I'll walk you through each possibility. So, we're gonna count it out again. One, he moves in, up bow. One! <laughs> he follows with the second technique. <laughs> right, so he can pick any second technique. But for example, he could have moved in one <laughs> and escaped. <laughs> he would follow with round <laughs> kick, exactly. Good, so now here we go. I'm gonna give him the opportunity to pick his second technique. He needs to respond by getting out of the way Whatever he does, just not getting hit. Here we go, ready. One. Very nice. Motion. Two. 
Very nice. Here we go. Building those techniques now. Three is the back kick. Three. Very nice. A little late on the counter, a little late, but that's okay. Let's see what he comes up with. We're going to number four now, which is the back whip kick. Ready? Motion. Four. Very nice. Finally, we're going to close that distance now. Number five, cover punch. Go. Very nice. So now he's going to escape, but he's going to follow with an additional technique. Hey. Very nice. Good. Now what he's building is reaction time. His initial thing is stopping the attack, and then he's following with the scoring technique. So the second technique matters, but the first technique is what we're concentrating on. So if they get the first part right, and they start to build that transition phase, then you've accomplished your goal. Remember, every drill has a specific purpose. This drill is about the initial reaction. When we change it for this, it's about the transition. We practice the initial reaction. This drill focuses on the transition. Listen, most important class, this is the most important class because it's starting to build in your students a confidence. Not only before like we did, that they knew they could move out of the way, but now they know they have an actual response. They can kick with that front leg, back leg, they can spin, they can cover punch, they can escape. This will build the confidence that they now have a tool set to counter and they also have the tool set to avoid or close the distance. This is going to become very important in these later techniques because we're going to be using multi-dimensional technique and then multi-levels of attack. This is the glue that puts the combinations together. Welcome to class number 54. Now we're going to progress. Same idea, the initial five counters, but we're going to add another level of difficulty. Now we're going to review the motions from the previous class. Lift leg, one. Ha! Round kick, two. Ha! Back kick check, three. Ha! Slide in, four. Ha! Slide back, five. Ha! Going to add the level now. Here we go. Up ball, the kick, one. Ha! Round kick, two. Ha! Back kick, three. Ha! Very nice. Cover punch, four. Ha! Slide back, five. Ha! Okay, now we've reminded them of what happened in the previous class. Now let's take it up a level. So we had up ball, we're going to change that to up ball double. So instead of doing the kick, we're going to do the motion. So we're going to make the front knee lift, the back knee lift and change. Hey! Ha! Just so they get used to the motion. Watch it again. Hey! Ha! No kick, just the knees. Make sure the knees come tight. They'll learn how to do the kick properly. Now two is going to be double knees, double kick knees. Looks like this. Hey! Ha! That's the way to teach it, double knees. And now we're going to take that back kick and we're going to change it as well. We're going to make it front leg side kick into back kick or cut back kick. So we're going to do a cut back kick knee. Hey! Ha! Ha! Very nice, bring it back. Okay, so we're gonna change this last one. It's gonna be up ball, double kick, potter chicken, which basically you're gonna skip back, lift the front leg, and then round kick with the rear leg. Hey! Ha! Ha! Very nice, good. Now once you walk through the knee portion of it without the kicks, just like we've done, now it's time to demonstrate it in the air. So that first part, we build. Do the drills in the previous class, single, single, single. Then do the double portion with the lifting of the knees, now we go to the actual kick portion where you demonstrate the kicks. So now they're going to do up ball, double kick. Hey! Oh! Double kick. Two. Hey! Ah! Cut kick, back kick. Three! Ah! Very nice. Now that has two options. That can be done moving forward or you can simply lift his leg and then jump and back kick. Oh! Right? So that's the counter in place. The other one is the attack going forward. Now we have slide back, up ball double. Hey! Ha! Right, and don't forget the cover punch. So skip in cover punch. Ha! And follow with round kick. Ha! That's how you build off the cover punch. So once again, skip in cover punch. Ha! Follow with the round kick. Ha! Very nice. Now we're ready to move on to the target portion. Target time, like all our classes when we're building skills, we do it in the air, demonstrate it, practice it in the air, move on to targets for the accuracy, speed, and timing. Okay, so the first technique again is going to be up ball, double kick, up ball, 
double cook. It looked like this. Hey! Oh. Oh. Very nice. Then the second reaction is going to be double kick. Hey! Oh. Oh. Right. We got a couple different ways we can do this. He can attack with it, or he can do it in place. For the purposes of this drill, I don't want him to go too far forward. Just want him to kind of react in space. Right. Number three. That's the one which we lifted the front leg, did cut kick into back kick. Three. Oh. 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 Very nice. Number four is going to be cover punch in the air, scoring with the round kick on the target. It looks like this. Hey. Ha! Oh! Very nice. Good. He's driving his opponent back with that, and he scores with that technique. Finally, he's going to skip back this time and up ball double kick. Skip back, up ball double. Hey! Ha! Ah! Good. Now, all we've done is build on what came before. Remember, these come from the single techniques. Now we're making them double techniques. So once again, I'm going to count it for him. He's going to move this time and respond accordingly. Motion. One is up ball double. Hey! Very nice. It's going to be followed by double. Two. Ha, ha, ah! Very nice. Now this one is going to be side kick, back kick off the front leg, which we call cut kick, back kick. You can do it in place or attacking. Hey. Ha, ha, oh! Very nice. Followed by four, which is cover punch in the air, driving hit backwards. He skips back. He scores with a round kick. Hey. Ha, oh! Very nice. Finally, slide back and then respond with up ball double. Hey. Ha, ha, Excellent. Good. Now in the beginning, listen, do the same drill over and over. Take number one, drill number one. Take number two, drill number two. Three, so on and so forth. Once you're comfortable, they know it, then do one, two, three, and four. Third and final option, you call the variables. You call one, they do one. You call two, they do two, three, four, or five. Now we're ready for the next series of drills. Time for the partner drill. The partner drill builds the skill for fighting. So again, not a lot of contact, but if you have that level of class where you have competitors, get the chest protectors on, even two sometimes, let them practice the drills in full contact. But for the most part, when you're working with your beginning students, trying to get them to the level of the torch club, you can work like this. This is a nice, easy practice, working on timing, reaction drills, and forcing each other to think about what's occurring. So again, let's review. We're going to go through the same format. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So the first one is a reaction for up ball double. He moves in. He's going to up ball double kick. One. Ho. Oh. And that's the way it works. Now his second option is double kick. Two. Ho. Ah. Excellent. He's learning how to cover. He's learning how to move. Three is the cut kick back kick. It can be done in place if he moves forward, or he can do it as an attack. Three. Ho. Wow! Oh. Just like that. He's developing the control, not killing each other, but working on the timing. This is followed by cover punch. Now watch. I can do this. I can drive in with that punch, pushing him backwards and follow with my scoring technique. Now, if we don't have chest protectors on, I open my hand. He comes in, I push him backwards and follow with my scoring technique. So, depends on how you want to teach the drill, but for the most part, he's going to advance forward anticipating a counter, cover it, punch, and drive through his scoring technique. Five. Oh. Ah. Just like that. Excellent. And if you have a chest protector on it, you can hit it. This is followed by the move back, up ball double. Hey. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's how the partner drill works. That's how it works. Again, we're moving in, we're covering, we're picking our techniques. I'm calling them for him. Let's take it right to the next level. Motion. Oh. Ah. Now he's going to choose his response. All he's going to do is move in or stay in place or check. He's going to choose one of the six responses and follow. Ho, ha, ho. Very nice. Keep going. Ho, ho. Ho, ha, ha. Very nice. Ho, ha, ho. Very nice. Good. One more time. Ho, ha, ho. Very nice. So he managed to get all six in. Now maybe they won't. That's OK. They could practice one response, two or three. You direct them. But this is the reaction drill. They're going to give, you're going to take. They're going to give, you're going to take. This is the most important part of the structure of this class. So again, all the drills lead up to this, which is practice, creating the belief. Two, confidence through contact. Finally, three, the execution of the point, which will manifest itself in confidence in the ring.
Class number 55, focusing on round kick, but defensive posture. Now we've alluded to this at different points during the program, but I wanna really take some time to describe it now. So, we have a lot of different ways to throw round kick on the attack. The same is true moving backwards. And we have a very effective kick called exchange kick or pad de chuggy. Pad de chuggy literally translates as exchanging kick, exchanging kick. First, let's work on the round kick. So when I'm teaching this, the first thing I do is all my motion drills and everything else in the world, and then I actually teach the kick. So we'll go round kick is one. Oh! Now, the next concept, what some people say, this is the easiest way to do this technique. This front foot is gonna come back to this foot. At the same time, this foot's going to move and round kick turning the body. This is exchanging or pada chuggy. Hey! Oh! Good. So you'll notice, let's look at the foot again. What you're seeing here is this foot is taking the place of this foot. At the same time, this foot is kicking, right? And as, you don't do it that slow, obviously. It's happening, everything is happening at the same motion and same time. Hey! Oh! Okay, now this in and of itself could be a whole class, but for purposes of today, we're just gonna describe it as such. The next level, this is the hardest pot of chuggy, because it takes a little bit of time. This rear foot is going to lift and push in the direction you're going at the same time that this is pushing. So it's a push back, slide back, and pot of chuggy. Hey! Ha! Oh! This one I like, very effective, but again, the timing has to be superb. We're gonna take those two now, number two and three, put it together. So he's going to slide back and exchange pot of chuggy. Hey! Ha! Oh! Good, so it's a double motion, double distance. Finally, step back pot of chuggy. Hey! Ha! Oh! So all that is is changing your feet and doing pot of chuggy. Let's work it again. So I've taught it now, I'm gonna instruct it like that, then I'm gonna go slow. So everybody in the class is gonna be in fighting stance, they'll go round kick is one. Oh! So that's the attacking distance. The half distance defense is exchange. Two. Ah! Longer distance is three, which is slide back pot of chuggy. Hey! Ha! Oh! Longer even than that is slide and exchange. Four. Ha! Oh! Added that extra little motion, right? Gave us that little bit of half difference. Now we go exchange back, which is step back pot of chuggy. Hey! Ha! Ah! Have the defense on both sides using the round kick. This is the dynamic. This is the air kicking, setting up the class for targets and partner drills. Yep. Here's the fun part now, application. The focus of today's class, this drill, is going to be on distance with round kick. So we have our first distance, attacking round kick one. Hey! That's the first distance. Now I teach it just like that. Let them practice it a few moments on both sides. Attacking defensive distance two, which is exchanging pot of chuggy. Again, this one is a half step back, exchanging in the air, very quick, hard to execute properly, but very effective. He comes in a half distance. Hey! Oh! Nice reaction, nice timing. Let's look at it one more time. Hey! Ah! Watch the way his feet exchange. Now a little bit longer distance because he can slide back. Now remember, we initiate that kick with the rear foot. The rear foot lifts in the direction it's going, which is backwards. At the same time, this foot pushes, comes underneath my body with a bent knee, and he recovers and kicks. Hey! Ha! Oh! I like this one. It's one of my favorites. Now the bigger and longer distance. He's combining two motions. He's going to slide back and exchange back. Hey! Very effective. And then finally, the last possibility, step back, Padachegi alternate target. Hey ha, ha! Okay, here we go. Here's the way you do it once you've taught the drill. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Ready? One, attack. Ha, oh! Defense, two. Ha, ha! Three. Ha, ha! Oh! Double distance, four. Ha, ha! And then finally, the other side, five. Ha, ha! Okay, that's the most advanced level of the drill. A lot of reaction going on there. He's got to control the distance. He's got to respond. One, two, three, four, and five. But if they can do that, again, they've mastered the pot of chuggy distance. One. Ah! One. Ah! Two. Ah! Two. Ah! Three. Ah! Ah! Three.
Okay, time for the partner drill so you can build the reaction. Again, the belief into the confidence, execution becomes a point. So, let's refine what he's going to do. The first one is an attacking round kick, actually, right? So as soon as he moves, he round kicks. Hey! Oh! That's what happens. It's one. He's simply taking a chance that presents itself. Number two can either be if he switches his feet and moves in, or if he actually attacks with round kick. Number two. Hey! Ah! And then practice it just like that. Now we move on to number three. This is when he kicks a longer round kick with follow foot. So he's going to do the skip back and round kick. Three! Ha! Oh! Excellent. That's the way it's supposed to look. Now finally, four is skip in and round kick. Four! Ha! Ha! Correct. Followed by number five, which is fast kick, pata Hey! Ha! Ha! Just like that. Okay, I'm going to give you one last option drill, like we always like to do at this level, pretty far into the program. So now he's going to give him different options. He's going to move in different ways. He's going to try to respond appropriately. He has those choices, those five choices that he can make. He's limited to the things that we showed in the demonstration. He's limited to the counters that are available for this. Go! Ha! 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 Okay, so what you're seeing here is there's a number of different possibilities. He's just adjusting his distance using the kick. So he adjusts his distance and then he uses the kick to respond. So you can go either to the kidney side or to the stomach side. Now remember in this class, as we conclude it, I want you to think about what we focused on. It was true distance practice, true distance. So use the target drill, get the distance down. Then use the partner drill to get the reaction time down. And then finally, here's the test, option drills. Predetermine what he's going to do and predetermine what he's going to do, but uncontrollable, he picks, he picks. <laughs> Class number 56. Now we're going to take the same series of drills that we did with the rear leg, do it with the front leg. I like to practice all possibilities. You only have two legs, so you can be assured if I practice something on my rear leg, I'm going to practice it on my front leg. This enables me to have every possible way of countering you when you're coming. So if I practice it on the rear leg, I practice on the front leg, I practice on the front leg, I practice on the rear leg. I practice a certain distance on one side, I'm going to practice that distance on the other side. To start us off, you know where I'm headed with this, here we go. So we did front leg up bow. One. Oh! That's the same thing as doing that attacking roundhouse kick, right? Now, all we're going to do next, we're going to draw back the leg and up ball. Two. Ha -ha! That's the half distance one. That's the half distance one. That's just making the miss by a bit and a piece. Now, we're going to combine those two. We're going to draw back, slide back. Three. Ha -ha! Right. So, we're going to slide back. The leg comes back. That gives us double distance. Hey! Ha -ha! Very nice. Followed by the final one, which is step back, up ball. Hey! Ha! Bow! Right. And that's just a different look, different distance. So instead of kicking up ball off the front leg, you switch your feet back and kick up ball off the other leg. So as I'm teaching it, again, I go this slow. Up ball one. Bow! Draw back two. Ha! That's your half distance. Combination three. Ha! Ha! That's with the step back, right? You got that slide back, that foot comes back in. Three. Four. Off the front leg. That's the set that we're going to do in the air. So again, teach it slow in the air first. Two, we go right into the air, kicking like we've done, and now we're ready for the target portion. Okay, you know where we're going. Back to the targets to refine the skill. So again, he's moving in. We got one. Oh! That's the up ball off the line. Now we got a half distance in. Two! Ha -ha! Very nice. You know what this is going to be followed with. We're going to go to three. Three! Ha -ha! Finally, the change back. Up! Ha -ha! Those are the four possibilities. Again, you can drill them just like this. We're going to do one, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, four, four. So you can do it just like that. Then you can add motion. Motion. One. Oh. One. Ah. Just like that. Here we come with the half step. Two. Ha. Oh. Two. Ha. Ah. 
Okay, he's aggressively moving now. Here comes his big aggression. Three! Ha! Oh! It's a deep step. Three! Ha! Ha! Followed by four! Ha! Oh! This one's a little bit difficult. Four! Ha! Ha! Excellent. Now we're going to move on to the varying one. So now he's going to respond accordingly. He's going to give him different distances. He's going to respond to the distance he's given. Now this again is for your advanced students. Don't use it for every student. Here we go. His option. Ho! Ho! Ha! Ho! 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 Excellent. Now remember, there's one last distance that we didn't practice. He could do fast kick. We haven't added that into this drill. But if your students have that idea, let them fast kick first. Up ball in place, draw back up ball, and then slide and draw back up ball, followed by exchange up ball. Okay, here we go now with the partner. Partner's gonna give him the reaction, partner's gonna absorb, he's gonna practice the distance. So, short distance is first. One. Oh. Good, little deeper now. Two. Ha, ha. Right, that also works against a fast kick. So if he had done fast kick, fast kick, hey! Ha, ha. Very nice. Now, he's going to skip up fast kick. He does the double distance. Hey! Ha, ha. Very nice. Finally, he steps. Hey! Ha, ha. Ha. That's how that works. So again, let's just check and review. First is a little bit of a slide in like he checked forward. One. Ha. Good. Second one could be fast kick. Two. Ha, ha. Very nice. Now, this is a little extra motion, so he could skip and fast kick. Three. Ha, ha. Ha. Very nice. Finally, he exchanges his feet. Hey! Ha, ha. That's how the drill works. Once they understand it, we go to motion. Motion. Again. One. Ha. Two. Ha, ha. Three. Ha, ha. And four. <laughs> okay, so you've got all the different drills in this class. You've got the reaction timing for the targets, you've got the air drills and the partner drills. Very important class because it focuses on distance for counter of the front leg.